Hello and welcome to the 21st PHP tutorial. Um, where we left off, we were writing and appending files and we had this mission form. I mean, it was uh, pretty epic. So, but now what we want to do is um, kind of change gears and talk real quick about one more type of security and that's going to be hashing. So uh, we'll continue including this header.php, but let me delete this, and let me delete our form, and let's just uh, start nice and clean. Now what hashing is, is kind of like a way to obfuscate your um, text data, and it's kind of like a, it's a one-way encryption, um, but it's definitely, it's not, it's not um, like legally backed encryption, okay. So like uh, in my Python tutorials, I showed how to do like 128-bit AES encryption, um, which is like an official type of encryption. So if you're accepting like user credit card information or something like that, um, in in your and you lose that data, you can be held liable um, for the lost data, unless of course you encrypted it with 128-bit encryption, <laughs> right? Um, so hashing. Um, is not necessarily uh, the most secure way to do it, but um, it is a pretty popular way to um, at least take steps towards securing data, and then later on I'll show you even further how you can uh, even better secure that data. So, so let us, let's just say um, we have a user information, and uh, we'll specify a variable as PW, and that's going to be their password, and we'll just say their password is password, like so. And then um, to use hashing, it's just MD5. So we'll just call this hashed equals MD5. And then within here, we want to apply this to password. Now, what we'll do is we'll just, let's say echo out uh, password. Or, I'm sorry, hashed. The hashed version of that password. So uh, let's Save that, we'll re-upload and run it. Refresh, continue. And here is the hashed version of a misspelled password. Now, what if we do this again? Like, let's do, um, you know, if you're familiar with encryption, almost every time you, you generate it, or every time you generate it, there's randomization. And so it's a different uh, value every time. So let's say PW2 hashed and now we want to echo uh, hashed2. Save that, and we'll run that. Uh, it's on the same line. Let me go ahead and uh, append a quick break here, or a couple breaks. Okay, so now you can see it's the exact same value. And so the point of hashing is usually what people hash are passwords. So um, what you'll have is a system that when a user um, specifies their password, it hashes it immediately and saves their password. Not It never saves the actual lettering password. Instead, it saves the hash of password. And then what happens when they go to log in is they type in password. It runs it through, it like converts it to uh, the MD5 hashing, and then it compares that, this, to that, and it sees, okay, that was a match and it continues on. Um, so then what happens if you, um, just to show you, let, let's change up password and do, let's actually spell password right the first time. So we'll save that and re-upload it. Refresh, and you can see it's like almost like completely different. But if it is identical, it's the same. So this presents a little bit of a security risk um, in the way that that means there is a finite number of combinations and everyone who uses MD5 um, no matter what the website is if the user's password is password it's going to look just like this so what happens is and the reason people do this is in case someone gets database access and like downloads the database um, instead of the actual password they get this numerical data which is pretty much worthless they can't log in with it but if they have <laughs> um, a really large database that has all kinds of combinations in it converted to hash values, they could theoretically build up a database. So to give you an idea of this, um, it would take a while, right? Because 
let's say you know you've got 26 um, types of characters that you could have, and let's say you've got you know a maximum of three. You know, just as an example, a uh, password it would be 26 by 26 by 26. Um, and so, but it, it's a big number. It's a big ish number, but uh, it represents a finite number. So even if you have um, 20 characters that you allow, and you allow every single letter in the alphabet, uppercase, lowercase, and numbers and symbols, it represents a massive number. It really does. But it's a finite number, and it's not massive enough for a bunch of computers to never crack. In fact, it would you know it might take a couple years or something like that. But I'll tell you this: the year is 2013. MD5 hashing has been around for uh, quite some time. It's been done. There, there are already websites out there that will convert hash to um, code. Because it's just, you know, it takes a while to build the database, but once you have it, every time password is going to equal this. So then all it takes is like, okay, well, we got this hash value. We send it through the, the database of hashes. It finds it in like a split second, you know. So it's not the best thing that you can do, but it is a proper step. So what's the next step that you can do to better uh, secure that? And that's going to be um, what's called salting. And if you want to know what salting is, I suggest you consult the next video. As always, thanks for watching, and until next time.